Hey guys, thanks for watching Beyond Science, it's Mike Chen. The moon is beautiful and has played a huge role in human history. We created calendars, holidays, and mythical creatures based on it. It gives wolves something to howl at, and it provides a glow of gentle light in the world of darkness. The moon is the yin to the sun's yang, and together they create a balanced earth. And although we are so close to the moon, there's still so many things we don't know about it, like how it was created. Robin Brett, a scientist from NASA, even stated, it seems easier to explain the non-existence of the moon than its existence. There are many theories on the moon's creation. Some think the moon was formed from the debris thrown into orbit when something collided with Earth. Some think the Earth's gravity captured the moon when it was passing by. And then there are theories that the moon, which is supposed to be a natural satellite, isn't so natural at all. That this huge light bulb could have actually been created by an intelligent and technologically advanced civilization. Now, I've been wanting to make this video for a long time, like, like years, seriously. This script has been sitting on my computer since I started this channel, and this is definitely one of those topics where a lot of people could be like, man, this is crazy, it's lunacy. Get it, L lunacy? Seriously, I, I wanted to make this video because all the information I found is really interesting, but it's gonna be really strange, but like I mentioned before, there's just so many things we don't know about this beautiful werewolf inducer. So like I say in the beginning of many videos on this channel, please just keep an open mind, hear the information, and judge for yourself. I've talked about the hollow earth theory, now let's talk about the hollow moon theory. The moon has a density of 3.34 grams per cubic centimeter, while the earth has a density of 5.5 grams per cubic centimeter. This shows that the inside of the moon is less dense than the outside, providing evidence that it could actually be hollow. What's more, on November of 1969, NASA created an impact just to measure the moon's seismic waves and were left baffled by the results. The moon was described to have, quote, rang like a bell as its vibrations went on for an hour, and according to some at NASA, even wobbled, leading many scientists to believe that the moon itself is hollow like a bell. MIT's Dr. Sean C. Solomon even wrote, the lunar orbiter experiments vastly improved our knowledge of the moon's gravitational field, indicating the frightening possibility that the moon might be hollow. Number two, moon zits, or moon craters. The craters on the moon are thought to be cavities created by falling asteroids meteorites were volcanic explosions, but what's mysterious about some of these craters is that the bottom of these craters are actually convex, meaning the surface curves outwards rather than inwards. Now this really shouldn't be possible because meteorites traveling at 25,000 miles per hour could not possibly make convex craters. Another interesting fact is the depths of the craters on the moon are actually very shallow in comparison to their circumference. The impact by a meteorite were falling object should have created craters multiple times deeper if the moon was merely a solid piece of rock. Number three, the size of the moon. First, let's compare our moon to the moons of other planets. Take Jupiter, for example. Jupiter has moons because of its stronger gravitational influences, but even still, its moons are about 1 80th its size. Jupiter has more than 11 times the diameter of Earth, yet Earth has a moon that is 1 4th its size. Other planets that are similar in gravitational influence to Earth, such as Mercury, and Venus don't even have moons. And according to Professor Isaac Asimov of Boston University, the moon is too big to have been captured by the Earth. The chances of such a capture having been effected in the moon then having taken up nearly circular orbits around our Earth are too small to make such an eventuality credible. So now let's talk about the moon's strange orbit. The moon moves in a perfect circular orbit. Well, almost perfect. It has the slightest variation and it's the only natural satellite that has such an orbit. Most orbits that are observed are elliptical, not nearly perfect with a little flaw. What's stranger is that the gravitational center of the moon is nearly 6,000 feet closer to Earth than its geometric center. With such a significant discrepancy, scientists remain unable to explain how the moon manages to maintain its nearly perfect circular orbit without wobbling. Number five, the moon stabilizes the Earth. The moon has been known as a significant stabilizer of the Earth's orbital axis, 
Without the moon, researchers predict that the Earth's tilt could vary as much as 85 degrees. If that was to happen, then the sun would move from being directly over the equator to directly over the poles over the course of a few million years, a change that could result in dramatic climate shifts. This is strange because the phenomenon of a satellite stabilizing a planet is thought to be extremely, extremely rare throughout the universe. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, we really have no clear idea how the moon was created, but there are three main theories. One is that, like I mentioned, the moon was once part of Earth and has broken away. Another is that the moon formed at the same time as Earth. And the third theory says that the moon was just floating around out there and got caught in Earth's gravitational pull. But these theories fail to answer why the moon and Earth are so different composition-wise. And if the moon was indeed a runaway satellite that was caught by the Earth's gravitational pull, it doesn't explain the moon's almost perfect orbit and how something of its size could even be caught by Earth's gravity, as in cases where a satellite is captured by a planet, the satellite would exhibit a more eccentric orbit. And of course, besides these, what is considered the most outrageous explanation is probably the one I talked about in this video. But if this was in fact true, let's say it's true, let's say the moon was indeed created by intelligent beings or some advanced civilization, then it would actually explain a lot of the mysteries that the moon presents. We really don't know much about the moon at all. Even Dr. Robert Jastrow, the first chairman of NASA's Lunar Exploration Committee called the moon the Rosetta Stone of the planets. And as always, I would love to hear your thoughts. How would you explain some of these mysteries that so far science has no answer for? Also, let me know how you think the moon was created. Did it really used to be part of Earth? Did our planet just hijack it somehow when it was floating by? Or was it created by some ancient civilization to stabilize our planet and give us a light source at night? Love to hear your thoughts. Thank you all so much for watching this video. See ya.